Total, total side note, real quick, because this was a, a lot of talk about negativity. Not necessarily. From, from a coaching perspective, we all somebody came on that the defense. not being talked about, somebody that's not being talked about at all, Terrence Knighton has done a fucking savant-style job for... Big Red Junkies. Stay by day! Stay by day! He is better than me! 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 Old man, woman, and child, he just turned this stadium inside out! I'll ask all of you guys the question that I heard on in Sports Mike Conduct today. I don't remember who they were interviewing. Oh, it was Mike Schaefer. They asked a question on defense, or actually on the whole team, but you're going to pick a defensive they put coach. This, they put this on Twitter, too. Who is your defensive assistant coach MVP? And obviously you can't say coordinators, because obviously you just say Tony White. Right. Here's, here's my thing on that whole question. Evan Cooper's hands are in all of the recruiting from a talent evaluation standpoint. I think it's our, he's our true best talent evaluator on the team, mm-hmm. period, especially from his scope position yep. uh, side of things. But you have to give mad props to what Terrence Knighton is doing as a first-year coach on the defensive line. I agree, but also bringing up a I guy like that. Dusty Dvorak. Or not Dusty. What's it? Dr- I do not know. Is it Ryan Dvorak? Because, by Ryan, he because, is a Ryan, shot. No, because... The only person that I know on the defensive side right now is Terrence Knighton because he was a Bronco. But divorce, divorce. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's, that's a, a good reference. Well, that's a such a fucking bullshit answer. <laughs> that's I, I, I that's a good die, reference. I don't dive. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I mean, check everybody likes to have a, I don't, have a Bronco. I don't, I don't like... dive that far into it. But wow. do you know if you look at all the Twitter and things, it's all about how Terrence Knighton was <laughs> running all these guys through everything, and then like. Look at how ripped he was because of what he looked like in college and stuff. Because he used to be like 360 and just now he's just jacked. And then he's got these he's guys. He's not jacked like, at all. He's a no, fat boy now. Well, I know, but yeah. But <laughs> he's, he's, a, he, he's a fat boy right they, now. Well, they, they tried to That's say why that. They call, him they, pot call, roast. they call him pot roast for but a reason. They tried to say he was ripped as hell in no. all these videos. Well, I'm uh, not saying that I wouldn't take I Terrence Knighton. I'm just saying what Rob Dvorak has done I agree. is. Very close. I, I think to he's had right more. There. I think he's had more talent though to work with. There? Yeah, because he's the he's the middle linebacker guy, isn't he? No, he is the linebacker coach. Yeah, yeah. We uh, have we have great linebacker talent. We have, we have great and, linebacker. And you don't talent. have Reimer for three weeks. And the you're reason, still playing really well. Yeah, one like, of the main well-ish. reasons why I think that, playing well ish. They had to adjust well, for him being right? out. Yes, Shot. but the the main reason that I think that I would have to give it to Terrence Knighton is just because of the fact that, like you said. I was worried about the defensive line. And when I you said that you. last year, you were dead spot on. And I didn't want to be. But. Depth has not gotten <laughs> to us the way that it did last year. Me and, at all. Me and Jed watching the Rutgers game. I'm like, how can't we get to Rutgers quarterback after the time? <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Rutgers, for fuck's sake. Yeah. It, was, it was a yeah, Friday night that. game again. It's like, yeah. We can't get to Rutgers. Now, now they're getting. I have a question on this. Can I nominate players? Because the captains on our defense have doing. I'm just have talking assistant coaches. Nominal. Job. Just, <laughs> I the, just wanna, the other non-assistant coach, the other other non. I don't disagree with you, Matt, but I'm just saying they, they, they put it on needs. the fucking field. Yep. Luke Reimer and everybody who's been captain him back in his we replacement need him back now. They, they have been the brains of our defense, which is a very confusing defense. Our, and. I, I honestly, I have a hard time picking anybody outside of them because they keep everybody in check and they mm-hmm. get everybody moving to the ball the way they should be. Yes, our, our linebackers have always been pretty damn decent. Absolutely, even I agree with that. Even though it's, I okay. disagree. Barrett Rude was not a good linebackers coach. <laughs> okay, well, no, I'm talking we, we about no, we find the one or two seasons. Our players. He's good on. He's good on the podcast. Though. No, well, no, our, our linebackers were top heavy. The top yeah. two, great. Yes, everybody Love below that. Yeah. But but right now, but to, the to, top two. Like you couldn't bring really say Bullock like he has bingo. Like come on, you he's move Mackay like, Bayer right on there, guy. and yep. he's playing really well. Yeah. Jamari Butler's playing really well. It's not MJ about the Sherman, top two. Like, it's about the brains of but, the defense. Exactly. First half of the season, I think if you're going to give anything to not just rule for being the mastermind of everything, yeah. you're going to give the biggest accolade. It almost has to go to Corey Campbell. He's our strength and conditioning yep. guy because our conditioning. 
and the way that we have been able to outlast people, that was the, that was the biggest thing. The only game that we've seen us be outlasted in. I want to add one more. Was Michigan. When you're done, but and I don't even sorry. know if we were outlasted. We were just. Well, no, we, we were. Out, we were out they, depth. They were beat before we entered the game. We, well, we but we were also out depth. It's harder. It's because harder they to have, play they hard. Have a lot of depth. It's harder. We were. Beat, I don't even care we about their beat depth. up here. It's harder to play hard if you're not there mentally. True. That's what she said. We uh, <laughs> as, as between my, the sheets. That's true. As my as my buddy from Michigan goes. He goes, fuck Michigan. He Well, he goes, <laughs> I agree. I'm not sleeping one, one, with my wife the rest of the year. If, <laughs> really? If, if Nebraska doesn't going? beat him by, or if Michigan doesn't beat Nebraska by more than 14. Jesus Christ. Well, <laughs> he's not getting laid. Why? God, his, his, poor, he did. His, his poor wife. He's got, he's got a Michigan fan. For the rest of the year. I, I think that's a gift for his wife. I don't <laughs> even know who you're talking about. But, no, that's uh, what I'm saying. His <laughs> poor wife has to have sex with him now for the rest of the year. Well, this is the reason I bought this shirt. Is because what an asshole. Did you buy this shirt because I have no, sex with his wife? No, or I, went, I, went to, uh, <laughs> I went to a Detroit. And this may be the most unbelievable night in Cornester football history.